Hey lads, it's Sarah, and I want you to picture this. You've decided to pick up a weapon that you've never used before, and you're looking for the best skills to use for your new toy. For example, say you picked up Charge Blade. You may wish to use Focus and Capacity Boost for your files. Say you picked up Gun Lance, you may wish to use Artillery or Evade Extender. Or, you could pick up the Insect Glaive and try your hand with Flinch Free. As you can see, certain skills benefit certain weapons in unique ways. Artillery on a Gun Lance means far more than using said skill on the Dual Blades. As for Flinch Free, well this fairly forgettable boost gets some new options to everyone's favourite baguette. Here in Iceborne, it now boosts some Kinsect Extract effects. Sadly, no specifics are present, so let's take it for a while and see what's what. The majority of this testing was also done by a very good friend and bug sticker specialista, Ascalon. And I would be remiss if I didn't recommend you to follow both his Twitch and his YouTube for some damn decent two player runs. You can find that all down in the description. To the skills at hand then, Flinch Free gives the currently unknown boosts to your Kinsect extracts, however it is also used for reducing minor knockbacks, for instance Jagras or Shamos or Tsetse attacks. Some larger monster bumps also, but most importantly, knock back from the other savages that you choose to hunt with. Hammer really enjoyed this for its big bang combo. Now with the Iceborne update, this now enhances your Kinsec buff resistances. Previously, the orange Kinsec gave minor reduced knockback, akin to one or two levels of flinch free. However now, the effects are as follows. Now the main buff is that with the triple extract, provided that you have two points already in the earplug skill, you can now receive the full benefit of complete raw nullification. That's right, once you obtain your triple up, provided you have at least two points in earplugs, you can completely ignore any and all rolls. This also extends to other similar effects, such as wind resistance and tremor resistance. Currently it seems to be that you need wind res 3 to max out the skill with your Kinsec buffs and flinch free. Although this was tested on Kushala, and I believe that the wind works slightly differently, although you are welcome to correct me if I am wrong. Finally, Tremor Resistance. You can see from the footage here that against the Stomping Terror High Rank Devil Joe, with Tremor Res 1, the stomps do nothing. That's right, you also get a straight up maxed out invulnerability to Tremors with your Kinsect and Tremor Res 1. Interestingly, this is actually another example of skills from Monster Hunter Frontier making its way to the Western series. Much like Stylish Assault being a precursor to the Evasion Mantle, or Obscurity lending its likeness to Offensive Guard. There exists a skill known as Unaffected or Protection of the Three Realms. In Japanese, it is Sangai no Mamori, a combination skill that gives each level of earplugs, tremor res, and wind resistance at the same time. Something to think about. In summary, with Flinch Free Level 3, your various ancillary effects are magnified whilst under the effects of the Triple Kinsec buff. Now, how do we effectively use these? Well, as mentioned before, despite it being an overall nerf to the most optimal damage that you can do, there are two pieces of armor that you can use to get the most out of the earplugs buff without sacrificing too much power. These revolve around two pieces, the Tigrex Helm Beta and Ruin the Waste Beta, respectively. They have not only fairly passable slots and the prerequisite of a point each in earplugs, just by equipping these you also receive attack boost 4. From there I have made this set if you wish to take advantage of the earplugs boost. The previously mentioned Tigrex Helm, the Silver Soul Mail Beta, the Zora Arms Beta for the slots and two levels of Flinch Free, the Ruiner Waste Beta, and finally the best boots in the game, the Garuga Greaves Beta. Slap on a peak performance charm and you can receive the following skills best utilized by the Namial or Ruiner Insect Glaives. Critical Eye Level 7, Attack Boost Level 4, Critical Boost Level 3, Weakness Exploit Level 3, Peak Performance Level 3, Flinch Free 3, Earplugs 2 upgraded to 5 after you get your triple up, and Divine Blessing 2 as collateral. Unfortunately, no sharpness skills or set bonuses, but if you're the type to enjoy earplugs, then this may be a bit of a niche set for you. And that wraps it up. I hope that this summary of Flinch Free, whilst not optimal, has been beneficial for you, and let me know if you made the previous set, and how it's been treating you. If you made it this far, I would love to see you hop on in my stream sometime. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Sierra underscore symmetry. Have a wonderful evening lads, take it easy and enjoy hunting.